Hello and welcome to vlog experiment number three. I'm really enjoying it at the moment. It's loads of fun. I hope you are too, so I thought I'd do this one. And I just want to say it may be a bit out of focus because the house is a bit full and I can't get anywhere really where I can set it up nicely and focus it in because I don't own a tripod yet, which you'll be which is on the list. And I'm obviously looking at this face on and I think it's relatively close. But if it isn't, you either drunk too much last night, you're still half asleep, or this is an eye test and you should probably need a better lens. So um, any of those, you know, work for you, go for it. And yeah, so I'm going to read a poem in a minute that I wrote this week. And I wrote it about the view as you come back into Folkestone on the bus late at night and it's just the most beautiful view, you know, the street lights and everything that just captured most wonderfully between the sea and the hills and it's just astounding, it's like a meadow full of full of neon lights and it's, oh, it just takes your breath away and I love it and more more than that it's about coming home and for, for me home is Folkestone and I, I really like Folkestone, I think it's a great place and when you see it and you start coming into the valley you know that you're there and it won't be long before you're in bed chilling, doing whatever you're doing. And um, it's just, it's so good. But you know, it's not just about folks in that sense. Home is home, is home whatever that means for you. And it's that feeling of coming back from a day, a night, which could have been great or could have been not so great. And, you know, knowing that soon you'll be relaxed and comfy and tomorrow is a new day and you can make it your own and do what you've got to do and and whatever today has been tomorrow can be yours and it was one of those days where it had been you know not terrible in fact, far from terrible in fact but still with some reflecting to be done and this view just capped it off so I'm going to read a poem now and stop waffling I would like to say as well I'm joined by a co-host who won't say anything because they haven't got any words because they are a cat. And this is Neon. As you can see, she looks very proud and happy to be here. Or maybe asleep. Probably asleep. So, um, yeah. This is called A View from the Hill. Descartes doubted all things questioned his senses and the information they would bring. He thinks because he is, and that is all he can be sure of. But he also says, to know something about clarity and beyond doubt is for it to be true, and in the murky world of metaphysics, these things are few. But there is one thing I know with clarity and without doubt, and that is the feeling of warmth that spills out every time I see the view, so shiny as to be new. The brow of a hill that leads to my hometown. From the top deck of a bus, as of late night darkness surrounds. The portrait of lights framed by the hills and by the sea. That feeling that home is just down the way, and whether the night has been a victory or a defeat, there is beauty in the world, and tomorrow is a new day. Travelling down into the embrace of bricks, mortar, and trees, the hilltop view of my memory. I am reminded it is towns like these that create magic and mysteries. Stay classy, Folkestone. <laughs>